Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Tech Geek webinar series, our endeavor to empower techies. We believe that sharing of knowledge is the key of enhancing our performances and for our growth as professionals. With this principle in mind, Tech Geek has initiated a series of webinars conducted by industry experts to give a crisp insight of various domains. Topic for today's webinar session is Magento and Drupal, a case study on how to overcome the limitations. Our guest speaker today is Mr. Somokant S, Head Engineering and Technology at Ixilla Services Private Limited. Somo worked with Ixilla Services Private Limited. He has enormous experience of working on PHP, Magento, Drupal, Joomla, Sikta. Gentlemen, this presentation will continue for next 45 minutes and will take your questions after the presentation. In the meanwhile, you can post your queries through the chat pane available in the webinar software. Without further ado, I introduce you to our guest speaker, Mr. Somo. Hello everyone, my name is Somo Khan Sharma. I am the head of tech and engineering in Ixula. In Ixula, in our tech, tech team, we work both on Drupal and Magento for the last three years and here I am to share some of the case studies of the projects that we have we have done in both these solutions. I'm aware most of the attendants here are already aware of uh, Magento and Drupal or either one of them so I'm going to take one solutions after another. Most of the developers or the team leads or the project managers must be having some new product and while implementing it in either of these two solutions they face some certain restrictions which uh, certain restriction on these two solutions and how to overcome overcome those solutions. So today I will be presenting our own case case study on two projects that we have done on the two, pro, two solutions. Now the first one I'm picking up is a Magento case study. As on the screen, you can see that it's a Kupanen website. It's, a, it's an eBay project that, that we did for Philippines and it's built on enterprise Magento. Uh, 